Welcome to Stump the Scientist. Hello everyone, we're here with Jim Bray, our Stump the Scientist, and today a question came from Twitter from at Dallas Kitchen. And Dallas is very curious about DC motors. He'd like to know, how does a DC motor work? Will you tell him? Okay, we'll give a shot at that for Dallas. First of all, we have to have a source of DC power, DC current. And I'm drawing that on the blackboard as just a box. DC current is just current which doesn't vary in time. It just flows evenly all the time. Now, we'll draw the motor end on. So we'll draw the outside of the motor here. We call that the stator. And then we have to power an electromagnet in the stator with our DC power supply. So we'll do a coil. And we call this the armature coil in the motor. And it makes an electromagnet. And so like all magnets, it has a north pole and a south pole. Now we have to have a rotor that turns in the motor. So we'll draw the rotor. And it has a coil on it, too. We call this coil the field coil. And it has to be powered as well. But since it's turning, we have to be a bit careful with how we power it. Its leads have to go to a device that we call a commutator on the shaft of the rotor so that the wires don't get tangled up while it rotates. This is a brush kind of electrical connection. And so this electromagnet also has a north and a south pole. Let's draw it like this. Now we start the motor, we start the current. We see that opposite poles attract. So the rotor will turn to line up the north with the south pole. But then it would stop. However, this connection is rigged in just such a way that it reverses the current just before it gets to the stopping point. And so as it rotates this way, suddenly the north becomes south and the south becomes north. And now it has to keep rotating to get this part of the rotor next to this north pole. But just before it gets there, the current changes direction again and the south and the north change places again. So this device that does this is mechanical and is called a commutator. And we see that when the commutator is working right, the rotor just keeps running around and around in order to keep chasing its opposite pole in the stationary armature winding. And so now we have a motor. So that's basically how a DC motor works. There are other kinds of DC motors that don't require commutators like Faraday motors. We're not going to talk about all of those today, but good question, Dallas, and keep those wheels turning up here. <laughs>